All right, let's take a look at these return hit points. Because for Daniil Medvedev, being one foot behind the baseline, for anybody else, it's kind of like being at the service line. Right, and, and look at this. I mean, for Medvedev, it's really simple. I mean, he was basically nine feet closer versus Yannick Sinner. And these yellow dots, they look like they're in the normal zone, right? That's not normal for, for Daniel Medvedev. He's ne nearly 20 feet back uh, when he likes to return serve. This is what we've seen through rounds two through four at the Open. Look at that. Look how deep he is in the court. Loves the time, loves to dare people to try to steal his time because he's so good from back there. He knows against Yannick Sinner, that is a tough battle. Why is it a tough battle? Because of what we showed earlier in Coach's Corner last week. Sinner now can finish at the net. He's great out of the corners, yeah. and he's not afraid to come into the net to finish. So if Medvedev gives him all that time, it's only going to be about what Sinner does. It totally takes it away from Medvedev. So I like the fact that Daniel's like, okay, I'm going to get up. I'm going to rush him a bit. I think he can mix it a little bit, but that's got to be the dominant statement from him. He needs to do that for three sets, not just two, but stepping out of your comfort zone certainly is it something he's going to have to do. No, it's not easy, <laughs> but you got to do it if you want to make the semifinals at the U.S. Open. Take time away. That's the theme of today's Coach's Corner.